Hey Scorpios and welcome to your monthly love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Scorpios. So let's see what you guys got going on in love. Alright, you guys have the fates. Who else had that today? Somebody else had that. I can't remember who though. Gemini maybe? Alright, let's see what... That was worth waiting for that wanted to pop out, but let's see what comes out. Keep an open mind and romantic feelings. Alright, so somebody has caught your attention. This is somebody that is fated to come into your life. Um, it's... They could be a, way different than what you would expect to be your person, however. Because... You have to remember to keep an open mind because other people are who they are. You can't you can't change them. So the challenge is to accept them as they are and not try to make them, you know, suit who you think should be in your life. So this is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how you think they should be um, because this person has got your attention. They are your feelings are worth um, exploring. They're real. And even though this person is different from what you expect, your challenge is to not to try to change them. Because this person is here for a reason. Um, they're fated to be in your life. And uh, so remember just to keep an open mind. Let's see what... You know what? I'm going to change decks for you guys. I don't know why. I just feel like I should. So let's go with these. Yeah, this is better. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what you got going on in February. So you've got the Two of Swords, the Devil, the Three of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. That Queen of Wands has been out in almost every reading today. All right. Your advice is the world and the Eight of Wands. And your potential outcome is the Hanging Man. And the Knight of Wands and Justice popped out too. I'm taking them. Your bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords. Clarified with the Tower and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so you're holding on to some sort of um, hurt from the past. Something that caused a great upheaval in your life. Somebody who was creating these illusions and delusions into your mind, making you think like you're crazy. Um, this person truly betrayed you and created this upheaval, this tower moment. And now you're, you're afraid to allow yourself to feel your feelings um, of this new person coming towards you. This is somebody new for you, Scorpio. So um, it's time to let go of that hurt of the past because this person isn't that last person. This person, you could be, um, this person could remind you a lot of a person of the past that caused you that heartache, but they're, it's not them. Um, it's time to make a decision. You've had enough time. Um, you've held on to this long enough. Um, you've held on to this heartache of the past. It's time to move forward. You've planted the seeds that needed to be planted in order for this new person to come in, Scorpio. So now it's time to let them be here. Um, you could have a lot of negative thoughts about the past, obsessive thoughts about the past with this devil here. But you have the sun and the princess of wands that comes out with it. So it's time to release the negativity that you're projecting into this new relationship because this person truly is going to bring you happiness and um, it could work its way into a commitment that's going to last a lifetime. You know, this person is going to bring you light. It's going to bring you happiness, joy, as long as you let go of the negativity of the past. There's something negative that you can't, you can't quite seem to get over. Um, and this person's going to help you do that. As long as you uh, allow yourself to be open um, to the connection. So with the Three of Wands, you have the Five of Wands. There's something that is on the horizon for you. Some sort of blessing that's coming in for you, Sag or Scorpio. It is on the horizon just waiting to come in. But there's too many people in your space right now. Too many, you know, opinions in your ear. Release those people who think that they can control you through their opinions. Because they could be telling you, don't let this person in. They're going to be just like so-and-so. Don't allow this, you know, don't 
pick this person. There's too many people in your ear. And this is truly a blessing. This relationship is fated for you. It's it's everything that you have wanted and hoped for. But there's people in your space that are trying to discourage you from moving forward with this person. Could be a Leo. There's a lot of Leo energy here. Um, with the Queen of Wands, it's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to move forward and do what it is that you want to do. You have the confidence. It's time to, you know, rein that confidence in, move forward, and allow what's faded for you to come in because this person truly has gotten your attention and you are connected to the divine. Um, wow, this person has the potential to bring you everything you want. It's time to move away from those people, those naysayers, those people in your space that are bringing you negativity. They're just bringing you down. And they're trying to bring you to a level of unhappiness that they're at. When this person has the potential to bring you the happiness you deserve, you what you desire. Um, heavy Leo energy for you guys. Heavy. Um, but it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It can just be somebody who's all about action. Um, yeah, they're going to help you get over this broken heart with your um, advice. It's the world and the eight of wands. This lesson has been learned. Release it. There's no sense in torturing yourself and going over it and over and over it. When you've learned the lesson, you are ready to ascend to a higher level. You could be receiving messages from the divine um, to release whatever it is of your past. But you're also receiving messages um, that's going to help you heal this broken heart. You're also receiving messages from somebody who doesn't want to let you go. The person that broke you in the past don't want to let you go. And they're going to try to keep you in their grasp. Um, they're going to try to keep you at that lower level. So you'll stay, stick around. So you'll be there whenever they call, you know, whatever it is. But this new person has the potential to bring you what you want. Your, um, potential outcome is a hanging man. You're going to take some time. You're going to take a step back. Um, and you're going to receive this enlightenment. Um, you're going to receive this healing with the temperance at the bottom. And you're going to bring your life back into balance. You're going to balance out those emotions, those thoughts, um, cause you have justice here as well. Wow. That one flew out of there. Um, you're going to, you have justice here as well. Um, that's going to bring you a relationship that's filled with balance and fairness. Um, but it's also bringing a balance back into your life. And as soon as you do that, you're going to have love rushing in here. Somebody's going to come in and the person that's stirring your romantic feelings, go for it because you deserve it. Scorpio. They are way different from what you usually are attracted to, but they're here for a reason. They're fated to be in your life. Um, let's see why the hanging man is here. What's this delay about? The star. Totally. Yes, you're in this healing. You're in this phase of healing. You need this time away in order to receive the healing from the divine. The chariot always leaves the tower and heads towards the star. So you can take the time to heal yourself, to replenish your energy, to... Um, and by doing that, you're receiving this enlightenment from the divine in this time of pause, and it is bringing you your wishes granted. It is bringing you what you want because the star is the star card of fate. It is bringing you in what is meant for you, and you have to just go with the flow. Allow that time to yourself so you can see what it is that you deserve. And when you come out of that time of pause, of that cocoon, you're going to only accept in your life what is fair and balanced. And you're going to cut away those who no longer belong there. And you're really going to take a stand. The Empress doesn't chase. She knows her value, knows her worth, and knows that somebody's going to come in very quickly. Um, and it's going to allow you to release that negative energy of the tower. That star is totally healing you from that situation. And by doing so, somebody's coming in very quickly, passionately, um, bringing you that inspiration to reconnect with somebody, allowing you that time of healing. It's going to bring you to that, oh my goodness, to that Ace of Cups. And it is a fire sign. Most definitely, you have a fire sign coming in for you, Scorpio, that's going to bring you this, you know, and it's going to be balanced. And it's what you deserve because you have so much value to give that you're not getting that from somebody of the past that's keeping you drawn in. You need to take some time to yourself. You need to have this pause because it, the divine is going to show to you you've completed this karmic cycle. It's time to move on. It's time to move to the next level of ascension. 
messages are coming in from a fire sign. It's also coming in from the divine that are going to help you heal this uh, broken heart. And it's going to lead you down the right path. The sun always leads you to happiness. The sun and the stars are here. You have so much beautiful divine energy in your midst that it's time to let go of those who no longer need to be in your life because they're blocking you from your blessings. You're fated to have something huge come in. And somebody is coming in that's not your usual type. You're being called to not try to change them, just to explore your feelings because they're worth exploring because you they have the opportunity to have a new beginning. Wiping the slate clear. This is self-love, giving the love to another. This is inspiration, taking action, and coming in very quickly with a passionate love offer, Pisces. Or, sorry, Scorpio. So it's most important to really take some time to yourself. To break away from everybody that has hurt you. To just take some time and to realize your value, your worth. You don't have to chase anybody. You don't have to chase this person. If they don't want to be in your life, let them go. Because they are not worth being there in the first place. You have something much more beautiful coming in your way. And it will bring you much happiness. And you can let this heartache... Um, be that of the past. Learn from it. Ask yourself, why was this person in my life? What lessons did they have to teach me? Take those lessons and allow yourself to complete that karmic cycle because you have some big time love coming in for you that's going to truly make you happy and love you the way you deserve to be loved, Scorpio. So I hope you guys have a happy and healing month of February. I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed your message and God bless.